talking about all four of our town board members and decision members here. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to them. To, um, the only business that we have left is to certify the election. Um, or if you have a discussion or anything. I agree with this. Constitution to the best of my ability. 
I am doing my best to protect the votes of all citizens of Delta County and to ensure free and fair elections by bringing transparency and reassurance to all Delta County citizens that you have the right to proper elections. That is a very important right. Actually, one of the most basic of rights without a free and fair and transparent election system, we have no influence on our government. Maximum, maximum law 94J is better to restrain our meeting date and time than to seek remedy after a wrong has been inflicted. Thank you. I am signing. No, our process can't go forward unless, unless we certify that the, the returns from the precincts were done properly. Mm -hmm. And if you find anything that was improper, then mm -hmm. take it away. When we looked at the tapes and when we matched it with the information you gave us, at that time, I believe we thought that the numbers matched. Does everyone agree? Yes. 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 We're not, we're not taking public questions. This is not a question. Would it be possible to state your name? Oh, sure. John Myers. Teresa Nelson. Tim Levy. Bonnie Hunkler. Thank you. We're not used to having so much public. Uh, <laughs> Specifically, it's the League of Women Voters that, uh, that oversee and uh, oversee the the canvas and, uh, and, and go through it step by step with us and observe what we're doing. So uh, typically we're in a little bit smaller room and we don't have people um, that don't know who we are. <laughs> okay. Is it right for us just to tell the people that you cannot do your recount until this is certified? And I know that Bonnie referred to it in um, you can start a recount once you're certified. It's fine to recount, but it's against the law to count to do a recount before this election is certified. Just so everybody has the same knowledge at the same time, you're hearing the same thing. It's the law. And all the candidates on the ballot can ask for a recount. Yeah. Not anyone to register for it. Right. Only the candidates in the, in the case of. Uh, Candidate races, only the candidate can, candidates can request a recount. So, um, may I address that point? I, I don't have my election brochure, but I do believe that it does say in our manual that we can, or actually, it's, you know, actually in the law it says in the case of Board of the County Canvassers, um, at one point it said that we could request to do a recount immediately if we all would have agreed on it we could have done that that is not correct okay the board of canvassers cannot cannot touch the balance or do a recount we, we, only, we the look paper. at the paperwork that is sent to us and if the total whole number of people in the poll book and the number of people that voted match up and we also look at administrative stuff if that is correct, we certify. Then after we certify, I think it's 48 hours for a recount, then you can have whatever the, you want done at that point, but we cannot look at the balance. If, if you think about it, it wouldn't even be right because you're only talking four of us, okay, really? And, and yes, uh, Nancy does a great job of, of, of being our uh, clerk, <coughs> to give us advice, but she really doesn't even have a vote. And if, when you do a recount, you bring in all your poll workers and, and that, are, that we need to do it, and you got your board of canvassers and any clerks involved, and then the candidates can have their two observers, I think it is. And I've been on several recounts, and that's the best way to do it. You got the most people looking at the same thing. And I don't think it would be right, especially when it's you that it's two and two, for us to make any decisions like that. 
and it's in the state law that way too. But I'm just telling you that's the way it is. So we all know what the argument is. The rest of my statement for requesting a recall is only the candidates and candidate races can request a recall. But if it's a if it's a milling proposal or uh, something like that, then any anybody can request a recount. So in the case of a millage, anybody can request a recount. But for candidates themselves, it's only the candidates involved in that uh, election that can request a recount. Anybody want to make a motion? Yeah. Yeah. I made the motion that we certify this last election on May 7th. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed?
business of the Board of Canvassers? I'll just to say that we will be looking for that information. And I, I, is it available in 60 days on the page of the flyers? And if you request? Yes. So how soon could we look at the unrecounted um, ballots? It's 60 days from the date of the election. And, well, I, I need to verify that. It's 60 days from the date of the election or 60 days from the certification. Mm -hmm. And then, so I clarify that. So, do we, when do we need to request? What is the date for putting a new request? For a recount? Yeah. Okay, the recount is six days from the certification. Okay. This is six days from today's date. Okay. We have to be requesting for like the 20th. Thank you.